I used to buy houses and fix them up. I decided to start my own company, and from then it kind of grew. My name is Soledad Alzaga, and I'm an interior designer. I got my degree as a graphic designer, and I started looking for work in the design business. But this was in Argentina, that's where I'm from. And when I moved here to the States, there were a lot more opportunities of you being able to choose your job more than having to just choose a job that would pay you. I don't think there's a lot of Latin interior designers. There's a couple of certain times where, you know, these guys just look at me and they're like, so are you like the help? And I'm like, no, I'm an interior designer who I'm like working. They just think that maybe I'm the you know, cleaning person or something. Having me as a boss, sometimes it's like a double take. I think they're used to having a different kind of interior designer working with them. There's always some design sketching when you first meet a client and you work on designing a space. And then from then on, you're working on making that space come to life. The thing about interior design for me is just not knowing what furniture is out there, not the fabrics and the tile. And it's not just that, it's also your interaction with your client. You need to learn a lot about the person you're working for. You have to be good reading people and you have to be personable with them. So the samples that oh, you brought right. were like two little yes, things. and it didn't look anything so like that. When you put them all together, it looks like yeah. that. It's not just being creative and being stylish and having great taste. If you're gonna be your own boss, you have to know how to run a company. So I might not be amazing at QuickBooks and taking care of all my books, but I know what goes in, what goes out. I have organized everything so that I know how my company works. There's a lot of forms to fill out. You have to pay sales taxes. You have to do a lot of things that are bureaucratic that are not really the fun part of being an interior designer. You're, you're you know, working with a lot of measurements and designing things for spaces that you know you have to take measurements of things and be able to have some math knowledge. Don't feel that for speaking your mind that you're gonna be held back. Go for it. That's my, my best advice. It's just like, you know, embrace the way you are. You have to be secure in yourself. What I love about interior design is that I get to talk to a lot of people. You get to work with architects and you get to work with a lot of other creative people. Visiting a client's house after I'm done and see how they're living in these spaces is very fulfilling. That for me is what I like most about my work.